What's up, guys? I thought I'd take you on a tour. Yeah. Uh, the terrariums. Yeah. These have been out here now for uh, since the beginning of last summer. Yep, and they were fully alive. Then we left them out all winter long. They were like in deep freeze. Yep. This one didn't have a cork on it. And look at it. So we're just seeing what they're doing. Yeah, look at what's back. Hello, darling! Hello! Yes. So we're just doing some, uh, some different tests, investigating. Yep. Okay. Hey, go! Hold on! Get in here! All right. Here we go. Yeah. But what I really wanted to show you was the butterfly garden. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It is so full and lush. It's cool. Yeah. So here I am. Uh, here's my kind of right below my hip, my upper, my upper where like my leg meets my hip is, is how tall this shoe so is. Yep. And it goes all the way around. This is all Japanese shiso. So it, uh, it tastes, it's edible, and it tastes like black licorice, a little bit like anise flavored. Uh, this is milkweed, so this is what butterflies like. Yep. And they, there was some pods on them, some seed pods on them. Uh, yeah, here, you can see over here. Uh -huh. Show me your pods! Yeah, see them? Yep. I had all these random wildflower seeds that I had gotten, and I got these monster, look at these cosmos. They're like gigantor, but look at, here comes the flowers. But this is amazing. So this is, okay, it goes right to my chin, and I'm 5'10". Aren't those cool? Whatever they are, I don't know, but I love them. Yep, but they're Cosmos, because look at it, there it is. Yeah, and then the Shiso. She's so cool. Yeah, this is like boob height right here. Yeah, it looks really neat. This planter is pretty cool. I got this planter for free on Craigslist. <laughs> yeah. It was already painted black. Uh huh. And you can't really put anything in it because it cooks it in there in the sun, pretty much. So, what I did is I put uh, a, like a hanging basket. It's in there right now, but I put a hanging basket in there. That has uh, one of those moss liners. And so it actually is like a self-watering planter. Yeah. And it loves it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, there's the, the fairy. We have the beard's tongue. Just getting ready to bloom. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Look at this. The bees are all over this. Yeah, look at that. Insect mania. Isn't it cool here? Are you writing all about it? Yes. They're taking their field notes. Yep, so here's the inside of the butterfly garden. Now all the milkweeds are producing their pods. And that pod will break open and that's when you'll see that soft fluffy stuff that you think of when you think of milkweed. Uh, right here is fennel. Uh, pull it back. So that's fennel that's growing right out of the cracks there. Yep. 
Uh, the butterflies love it. See more. And it's really good to cook with. It tastes like like black licorice again. So if you like like that anise flavor, fennel is really good to use. Uh, it's good in a cold tuna salad, like a tuna pasta salad. If you have a little fennel, uh, it was pretty yummy. What do you think? Uh-huh, super down. Isn't that just lovely? All right, so over here we have the bee balm. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, remember how the bees were all over that? Yeah, well now they're all over this. Yeah. And we have a big fennel right there hold, holding it all up. Uh, this is tall phlox. Uh, still going? Yep. I have my sunflowers here. They have some more heads on them. Yep, this one snapped. Yeah, but look at Hello, darling! Yes, you're like, that's like seven feet tall. Hello, beautiful. Yeah, or even maybe eight feet tall. Yeah. So lots of fun stuff. A little clovers, yes. In the butterfly garden. And then, oh my gosh. So check this out. Let's talk about beans. Yeah, I have to harvest my beans. Look at all these green beans I got. Yeah, let me pull it back. Bean mania. So I have all different, I planted different when I plant in my garden, I like to mix different kinds, but they grow together. So, see these? Uh, and these grew just right up my deer fencing. So, I don't have anything fancy, you guys. I'm like uh, living right at the edge of the city. That noise you hear in the background is a major highway. Yeah. That wall right there on the other side of it is the exit ramp from that major highway. Yeah. And so I usually do straw bale gardens. Now this year I wasn't able, my starter plants got all jacked up and so I wasn't able to do the garden I really wanted to do. So I just threw in some seeds and uh, last time, last, like, the decomposed bales from the previous year that I just left here over winter. And so these were last year's bales, so instead of getting new ones, I just threw some seeds in, in, in these. And right now, oh my gosh, I just saw, where is it? So this is like some squash and stuff, but look at, hello. Yeah, we have more beans here. I have a, uh, a beautiful squash. <laughs> look at, there's beans hanging down there. This is all beans, yep. Uh, I noticed there is some, uh, uh, whatever that is, fun uh, mildew whatever that's called yeah on that one because it's in the shade it's more in the shade yeah but look at hello darling let's pick you i pick you look at this beauty yummy yummy get in my tummy yep cooking that in the morning all right And I have another one, look at, down there, growing. All my chives are blooming. Yeah. They're pretty. Got a bee on one right there. Yeah. That rascal, it keeps, uh-huh, Jasper has like a major beef. 
yeah so I tried to double reinforce it everything but that thing's smart keeps coming back in so there's that <laughs> The peas are pretty much done. They've done their life cycle. Yeah, but I just, you know, let it go, leave it. Look at, hello, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, I noticed, yeah, here is one lone volunteer millet that planted itself. Yeah. So I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer, pick it, dry it, give it to the parakeets. Yeah. So I just threw down, I threw down these big sheets of plywood a long time ago. Yeah, and then I just put my bales on top. But if you don't do bales, yeah, and you don't want to do, uh, this is something that I don't know what this is, but. If you know what that is, tell me. Oh, hello, beautiful. Yes, hello, darling. Yes. So when, when these squash start growing up, the, the walls, I have to make a little bra for the little melons when they start growing. The little squash, yeah. And so I use extra of this, this netting that I have, which I got for free on Craigslist. Somebody was just giving away huge rolls of it. So I just cut a little bit, just make a little sling for it, and then I put put the squash in it, and then it just will grow it. And it won't pull on, on the tendrils to get it off. But it actually loves growing vertically. So that's what's going on with the garden now. Yeah, and I just leave these like see here. That's what my that's what the bottom of my garden would look like if I didn't have these plywood pieces down here. You can see it's like nothing fancy. They're all I just let them out. I'll leave them out all winter, and they're like just I would never walk around with bare feet by any means. But yeah. Zucchini. All right, well, there's the yard, the gardens. Peace out. <laughs>